Hey, hi everybody. Welcome to Life After Mental Illness. I'm Bill McPhee, your recovery expert. And uh, today on today's vlog, we're going to be uh, going to Gateway, where I am actually uh, teaching the Bright Future program to, uh, to a class. And we're going to have uh, an interview with a couple students who, uh, from Niagara College who sat in on the session. And we'll interview them a little bit about, uh, uh, about what they're doing at Niagara College and their role. Tomorrow, uh, come back because we're going to be, uh, we've had a snowstorm and um, Dwight, Hannah, and myself, and Lucy, we're going to be having a, a fun game of football. So come and uh, join our fun that way. And remember, there is life after mental illness, and recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anyone else other than who you are today. Have a great day. Bye for now. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today I'm off to uh, Welland for a Ambassadors for Mental Illness uh, meeting. Uh, and then uh, after that, I'm going to be uh, teaching the Bright Future program. Uh, this is the uh, first day for this session. Uh, for two, five or six people and uh, we're going to talk about the Great Future program. So um, that's going to be a 10 week course and today is the first uh, introductory uh, the first introductory uh, seminar. So we'll, we'll see you later and we'll get some pictures of maybe some of the crew and do some interviews but uh, we'll see what today brings. Anyways, have a great day. Bye bye. Hey, hi everybody. Welcome uh, to uh, our Bright Future program. I'm at uh, Gateway today and we're uh, presenting the introductory, uh, uh, introductory session of the Bright Future program. And I'm here with uh, Karina and uh, Rochelle. And uh, both, basically these girls are uh, in students at Niagara College and they're taking the Recreation Therapy program and they uh, sat in on our first session of the Bright Future program. So I just wanted to, to kind of give you uh, a chance to see, you know, what, what it was, what this experience was like. And uh, first of all, talk a little bit about your program at Niagara College. What year are you in and what are the studies going on there? Uh, so we're both in second year. We're finishing up in about a month and we'll be graduating. Um, recreation therapy is all about improving the quality of life for individuals. Um, we can work in many different fields, um, long-term care, um, rehabilitation, mental health and addiction rehabilitation as well. So being here at Gateway is a really good opportunity for us. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, both our past placements were with people who have mental illnesses, so this is a really great experience for both of us and we're both really falling in love with the field. So. And it's really practical, and there's a need, and it's a huge, yeah, huge, de definitely, need for it. definitely. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, what did you think? You, you mentioned about quality of your life, and we talked about the pillars today, mm -hmm. and that's all about getting a quality of your life because it's very important, right? We should always want to try to improve our quality of life, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So tell me what you thought about uh, you know this first introductory uh, DVD the, about the, the Bright Future program. Did those pillars make sense to you? The, the uh, you know the the uh, spirituality the uh, friends or the, you know the relationships the families the physical mental health um, finances and career and vocation right we're trying to get people find a passion for them that's basically what those categories that life is made up of those things isn't it exactly you cover basically everything with the yeah. pillars yeah. yeah yeah I really liked your view on recovery too. Yeah. But, um, what was it again? So, so recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anybody else yes, other than who you are that. today. <laughs> yeah. I really like that. Yeah. And it's so true. I mean, that has a lot to do with self-esteem, self-confidence. It has to do with, you know, our, our families, our relationships, all kinds of things. And, and that's the goal. I truly am, a, uh, I'm very am passionate about recovery and I, I see so much potential in so many people. And I think that what happens is that people may be getting dealing with mental illness, they get they get it stable and everything like that, but it's hard to put your life back together to pick up those pieces and, and to do that. And that's what the break work, it's a lot yeah. more work, that's right, yeah, yeah. So that's great. So you guys and you're enjoying your school, your class? Yeah. 
Yes, I'm falling more and more in love with it every day. <laughs> very good, very good. Well, listen, Karina, thank you for doing the interview here. Thank you for attending our introductory. Thank you, Rochelle, for doing our uh, introductory, seeing this program. And uh, hopefully you'll be back uh, next week for understanding your illness. Yes, we sure will. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, so hi everybody again. This is just a wrap up. So today we did the Bright Future program, the introductory with uh, some uh, residents of Gateway residents. And we had a couple uh, students there from Lager College that you saw the interview with. So I just want to say that we had a productive uh, clarity meeting with uh, Ambassadors for Mental Wellness today. And we got off to a good start with the uh, Ambassadors for Mental Wellness uh, for, for that introductory issue. So thank you for watching this vlog and uh, have a great day. Bye bye for now. Hi, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And also be able to uh, send me your questions at bill at billmcphee.ca. As well, for more information, go to billmcphee.recoveryexpert.com. Links will be in the description below. Come back for another vlog tomorrow. And remember, recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anybody else other than who you are today. And there is life after mental illness. Have a great day.